Hi everyone. Welcome to your weekly announcements. How are you guys doing? It's been a while since I've last seen you. It's been since last year. Just coming in with the jokes already, my friends. But seriously, I hope you took that time to relax and chill out, especially away from your computer screens. I don't know about you guys, but I spent a lot of that time napping, going on walks, and watching a lot of Netflix. When I post this on my Google Classroom, let me know what you did over your holiday break. There's two new things that I'm bringing to you guys in the upcoming weeks, and that is Chit Chats with Miss Afai, which is me if you didn't know that already, and Virtual Lunch Bunch. Um, I already posted it in my Google Classroom, but just to give you a really quick brief synopsis, which means summary, uh, Virtual Lunch Bunch is available to grades three through six, and I have a form that you can sign up with, and when you sign up for it, it's for one lunch bunch. So I'll send you a link to come to your virtual lunch bunch meeting is either on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The first one's happening this Tuesday. So if you signed up for it, please be on the lookout because I sent you that email. And if you want to sign up again after doing uh, your first lunch bunch, you are more than welcome to sign up again, but it'll always go to the people who haven't signed up for it yet. So you can sign up for it more than once, but it'll always be the newest people first. Second thing is with Chit Chats with Miss Afai is talking to me about anything that might be on your mind. It could be absolutely about anything. It could be about friends, it could be about school, about home, or if you just plain want to talk to me. I love to talk. So if you want to have more information on that, again, it's in my Google Classroom, or you could email me at safai at carneyschools.com, and I'd be more than happy to share that information with you. On to our announcements, and I am shooketh because... This is probably the least amount of birthday shout outs I think I've ever done during announcements. So let's take it away. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. As always, don't forget that you could send me a picture of your birthday celebration to my email at safa at carneyschools.com or you could direct message our school Instagram that is at Washington School NJ for our Instagram story feature and all the birthday photos I've received over the past almost year are all saved on uh, a highlight on the Instagram if you ever want to see your birthday picture there. So on to the birthdays. On January 6th, happy birthday to Juan Kaicho Bernay from third grade from room 203, Santiago Deras from second grade from room 201, and Isabella Silvera from second grade from Miss Crawford's class. And happy birthday today to Enzo Pena from pre-K from room 205, and happy birthday to Luis Rivera Velez from second grade from room 104. And finally, happy early birthday on January 10th to Alicia Serrano Rodriguez from sixth grade from room 209. See what I told you? Like the least amount of birthdays I ever have shouted out before. But I hope that you all had or will have awesome birthday celebrations full of lots of delicious Now on to some grade level news and some grade level shout outs. First, pre-K. Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Lucia wanted to give a shout out to Calvin. Calvin is always wishing his friends a happy birthday in the comment section of the Google Classroom. He is always congratulating his friends when they have success. Calvin sounds like the best type of friend. Calvin has a great attendance record and works incredibly hard. He recognizes so many letters and numbers and is truly a great student to work with. Way to go, Calvin. I am so proud of you. On to some kindergarten news. Mrs. Bowser wanted to shout out Saad Dabaji. Saad is at 129% on ST Math, which is like mind-blowing because most times I'm just asking for 100%. 129% is spectacular. Way to go, Saad. We are so proud of you. Also, Amelia from Miss Donovan's class wanted to shout out her brother Ismail. But just because he's great. And I just, you know, you know what I love, guys? I love the sibling love. So thank you so much, Amelia, for shouting out your brother. And I'm so happy that he's great. On to some first grade news. Mrs. Humphrey wanted to shout out her many great helpers. She wanted to thank them for being so kind and helpful by showing their friends what page they were on and holding up the work to each other. You all are such a great class. Thank you, Ms. Humphrey, for sharing that. And thank you guys for being such awesome helpers. On to some second grade news. Christopher Brand wanted to shout Sebastian H. That's in Miss Donovan's class for playing Among Us with him. And 
I don't know much about Among Us. I do know they have those cute little characters. I'm gonna try to find a little picture of them so you guys can see them. They're like super cute. They look like little aliens with some like fun little sunglass like visors or something like that. Maybe I should look into the game. It seems kind of cool. But thank you, Christopher, for sharing that. And Mrs. Donovan wanted to shout out her class. She said they came back to break ready to learn and did an amazing job during the independent reading time. Great job to everyone and keep up the great work. That is so good to hear because listen guys, I know it was rough coming back from break. It was rough for me too. So it's so awesome to hear that you guys came back ready and willing to do your very best. On to some third grade news. Mrs. O'Grady wanted to shout her students. They are rocking their text-based reading responses. They are using evidence-based terms all on their own without reminders now. The training wheels are finally off and she is so proud of you guys. That is spectacular. That is such a great thing for a teacher to notice when you guys are applying the things that they're teaching you without them having to tell you guys. So wonderful job. On to some fourth grade news. Mrs. Molina wanted to shout out Luis Saldana Chero for always submitting his assignments on time. And this is going to be something new that I want to say. Let's all be like Luis. Let's all hand it over on time. But seriously, great job, Luis. I know it's hard, and I hope that all of us can take a note from him. On some fifth grade news. And boy, do I have lots of shout outs from Mrs. Lavelle Maisel when I read them. They just made my heart sore. Sore? Lavelle Maisel want to shout out Miguel Dante Silva because he's doing a great job taking leadership of the breakout rooms and writing class and all his input and ideas were really great. Good job, Miguel. Thank you for participating. Thank you, Miguel. You're doing spectacular. And Miss Lavelle has more news to shout out about Emma Fernandez Ochoa. She says that Emma is always ready to learn and that Miss Lavelle is so proud of the time and effort she puts into her work. Learning English is hard and she is a star. I'm so proud of you too, Emma. Keep up the awesome work. On to some more happy news from Miss Lavelle's fifth grade. She wanted to shout out Ospedi Cortez Martinez from joining them from Mexico at her grandmother's store with her computer and all of her supplies. Good job being responsible. That is fantastic and really awe-inspiring. Good job, Ospedi, for really putting in the work even when you're not in Kearney, New Jersey. <laughs> And finally, Mrs. Lavelle also wanted to shout out Sophia Kunas. Sophia joined them this school year during virtual learning and she has been doing an amazing job and she's an amazing addition to their class. Awesome work to Sophia. Yay! Thank you, Mrs. Lavelle, for sharing so much good news. It really made me happy to read all of them. And finally, I have two shout outs for Mr. Maisel for our sixth grade. And Mr. Maisel first wanted to shout out Samia Almeida. Samia has been working incredibly hard in science and has set an example for the rest of her classmates. Mr. Maisel also wanted to shout out Abel Echeverria. Abel is always the first one logged on to their meets and always has a positive attitude. It helps set the tone for the rest of the day. Thank you so much, Mr. Maisel, for sharing that. And thank you so much to Samia and Abel for putting in your best work and being such great examples to your classmates. Now on to some staff shout outs. Danya wants to shout out her teacher, Miss Donovan, because she is a great teacher and she loves her. And Mrs. Donovan is also teaching her class red word. Maite Alvarez Fernandez also wanted to shout out Mrs. Donovan. Way to go, Mrs. Donovan. Maite says that Mrs. Donovan is the best teacher ever and she makes Maite smile every single day. And I know every time I talk to Miss Donovan, she makes me smile. Must be one of her many gifts. So thank you so much, ladies, for sharing that. Dahlia Lozano wanted to shout out Mrs. Ricca and Miss Sansone. She says that they are the best teachers in the world. And thank you so much for helping her out this school year. Thank you, Dahlia, for sharing that. I have uh, a message from Mrs. Lavelle Maisel, and she wanted to shout out Miss Severino. And she said that Miss Severino is the strongest woman that she knows. Miss Lavelle hopes that her little Lily can grow up to be as strong, powerful, and as amazing as Miss Severino is. And I completely echo those sentiments. And thank you so much, Miss Lavelle, for shouting out our spectacular Miss Severino. And last, but certainly not least, is a group message from Evan Rebello de Silva. And he wanted to shout out everyone at Washington School. He says that he wanted to welcome everyone back from break. He hopes that everyone had a wonderful holiday season and a well-deserved break. He wishes that we were all back in school. Me too. But hopefully very soon. 
but it's nice to see all of you again virtually and he loves and misses you all very much. Thank you, Evan, for spreading the positivity and the good news. It was very much appreciated. It's the end, my friends. It's time for Friday Funnies and take it away. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend, Friday. jokes left over from last announcement so I'm going to read some of those during uh, these announcements. So my first one comes from Emily Gobin from fourth grade and her Friday funny is what do you call a burnt dog? A hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Our next one comes from Layla Waite from second grade from Miss Donovan's class and her Friday funny is why did the cat copy the dog? Because it was a copy cat. <laughs> Our next one comes from Ava Venable Shapiro from Room 208 and her Friday funny is, and it's a little bit left over from the holiday season, but it's still a funny one. What happens when you eat Christmas decorations? You get tinselitis. <laughs> Hopefully uh, tinselitis is curable. Our next one comes from Petra from Mrs. O'Grady's third grade class. And her Friday funny is, what do you get when you cross a snake and a snowman? Frostbite. <laughs> Thank you, Petra. That was a good one. Our next one comes from Kiana Orzero from fifth grade from Miss Lavelle's class. And her Friday funny is, what happens when a worm takes over the world? Global warming. <laughs> Thank you, Kiana. Our next one comes from Ava Beatty in fourth grade, and her Friday funny is, what's a penguin's favorite dessert? An icicle. <laughs> Thank you, Ava. Our next one comes from Mrs. Rupin from third grade, and her Friday funny is, what falls in the winter but doesn't get hurt? Snow. <laughs> Our next one comes from Mrs. Comer from fifth grade, and her Friday funny is, what did the cow get for her birthday? A calculator. <laughs> I love that. I always glad Mrs. Comer sent me a good math joke, so thank you so much. And last, but certainly not least, it's from Miss Garonsky Smith in pre-K, and her Friday funny is, what do snowmen like to do on the weekend? They like to chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone who submitted for our Friday Funnies. They were super funny, and I hope you guys enjoyed them. And that's it, my friends. That is announcements. I hope you guys, again, had a really pleasant break. I hope you guys came into 2021 with a pleasant attitude and a desire to learn and to keep doing better things. And as always, if you ever need anything, you can always reach out to me at safi at carneyschools.com. And as always, friends, don't forget that I love you, your teachers love you, and Washington School loves you. And I got it right on the first try. Hip, hip, hooray. Bye, guys. Okay. Chill out. You're talking about it too. Let's start from the top. Why my brain isn't working. I know why. I had holiday break. Oh, Bob, Bob, I don't remember how to do this no more. Ugh. All right. All right. And I told myself I'm not gonna make any mistakes and legit can't get past the first paragraph. Hi, Washington School. Uh -huh. Too much, I probably will delete this. <laughs> I should just have legit uh, a blooper of just me making like sounds that are just like unintelligible, that they make no sense. And then maybe someone can make a song to it. No?